MCA representing the Tembo Award in Akutan West. Today is 6th of uh, June 2023. Uh, we have been uh, our sessions, our plenary sessions, after we, after we came back from the process. Uh, we have had the declaration on the floor of the house. Uh, one of the major things that has come out is that we've discussed the notion of adjournment. Uh, we've discussed the notion of adjournment, but we are doing it in solidarity with all the 47 assemblies. The issues that has, uh, uh, has informed this adjournment is that uh, uh, we, all the MCAs in Kenya, had convened in KICC to, to, to review uh, the, our welfare issues. And uh, we agreed uh, that uh, there were so many pillars that needed to be uh, addressed. One of them, uh, we said that uh, uh, MCAs need to have a word for so that uh, they can prioritize uh, uh, projects in their world and, uh, and implement. Uh, secondly, uh, we talked about uh, the autonomy of the assembly. We said assembly must stand on its own feet. Uh, it cannot depend on the executive for it uh, to make its uh, procurement issues, for it to make its requisition issues with the COB. But the elephant in the house that I must say today uh, is about the issue of the remuneration of the county assembly members. We, uh, during our last, uh, last uh, assembly, we, 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 we left, actually, for me, uh, we left the last assembly with our salaries uh, that were paid at around 175. When we came back, we realized that our, our salaries had already been slashed. It had already been slashed. For me, I went to the election knowing categorically that I am doing this and this is going to be my remuneration. So when I came back, I realized that, oh, to Mshara. So we were saying that uh, uh, SRC, the body that is charged with uh, issues of uh, uh, reviewing our, our remunerations, you must first of all accept that they did a mistake for Sababu. You can never review somebody's salaries negatively. You can either leave it where it is or you improve it. So they agreed. In all the consultations we made with SRC, they have agreed that there was a blunder in that. There was a mistake. So we are saying, why don't you bring it back to where it was? Then we can make other, other, other considerations. So this is one of the major issues. My colleagues are going to talk on others, but I just want to uh, give a brief here that today we have closed our assembly indefinitely. Until this situation changes, uh, then that's when we will reconsider again uh, uh, coming back uh, to continue with the business of the county assembly of Napo. Thank you. Please, Peter Palan. MCF and Bakari Award in Ibashi. Allow me to mention that uh, this is my third time in the assembly. And ever since the salary that I used to get in the last term, the use that I the salary that I used to get in the first term, that salary has been reviewed downwards from 165,000 to 86,000 Kenyan shillings. The fuel that I used to fuel that time, the liter was going at 82 shillings. Today, same person committing from Mugale to here, I'm spending 182 shillings per same liter. So we cannot afford and we cannot condone to review our salaries down. And we are saying, let me clarify. Sababu hapo watu inje, watu wanasema kwamba waishimio wanapeka wa mzeo mshara. Sio hivyo, anukuzangu. Sizi mnaomba tu mshara inejeshwe mahali kukua. Hakuna mtu wanaitaji mshara. Na hilo jambo lieneweke vizuri. Because there is that misperception that the MCAs are demanding for the enhancement of the salary. We don't want an enhancement of the salary. Like me, 
having served in the last term and the previous term, I just request that let my salary be resuscitated where it was before. As short as that. I'm not claiming any increment. I'm not requesting for any increment on my salary. I'm only saying, my Representation, legislation, and oversight. The same roles. So, as the MPs, as the senators, that's what we are going for. And nothing less and nothing more. I was saying, oh, budget is in your budget in our idea, and you see your CC. The assembly today, as we had agreed, the all the MCS and all resolutions that we made on 3rd May, today we are coming here to say that we. With other house assemblies, we have definitely adjourned the assembly. And one thing that you should, everybody should understand is that the MCA, being the person who is at the ground, was also in the ballot together with the other candidates. But the constitution seems to be very, very uh, selective when applying to an MCA. Not with standing the issue of inflation, whereby things as they raise, the, MC, the MCA salary is being now cut and slashed which is not actually in tandem with what is humanly uh, acceptable, even to your own employee in your home. You don't employ somebody today and tomorrow you reduce their salaries. So we are saying that we are not fighting as, uh, like we don't live in Kenya. It's not that we are saying we don't understand that the problems we are having, but we are just saying let's be human. Look at our car grant. We are given a car grant that is also deducted by KRA. Look at the MPs and every other uh, state officer who are awarded car grants and check whether they are, they, are, they are suffering the way we are suffering from the acts of the KRA. So in simple terms, you are saying address our issue with our nation, but we also know that if you kill the MCA, somebody somewhere is not telling us the truth that they are interested in killing devolution. Because the MCA is the epitome of devolution. And because we are the people who are the ground, we are the people who are coming into contact with Mwanainchi, we cannot be able to oversight, to represent, and to legislate when we ourselves have not been registered. So we are saying that when we suffer the Mwanainchi at the ground, indirectly also is affected. So let them do us what is actually possible, when possible, we reinstate our salaries, and then SRC, we shall sit down and negotiate from that point. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Karanja, I'm the Secretary General of Association of Members of County Assembly, all MCs in Kenya. And uh, today as a Nakuru County Assembly, we have halted the business of this assembly, just like uh, the way it will happen to the 47 others. 12 are already crossed, therefore we add to that number today. Number one, we want to tell, uh, to say that uh, there are these that have made us to come to this conclusion. As we said and as members have already said, when we went to KICC, we raised five major grievances that ought to be uh, considered. Number one, it was the issue of World Development Kite stroke the affirmative action. That an MCA who is elected requires that money so that all the pledges that he or she made will be fulfilled. And that one, because others have, what we have seen is that uh, Senate has gone ahead it has now appropriated what is called Senate Oversight Fund, leaving MCS out. Therefore, we are saying that has, has to be considered. Number two, we are saying that we need the autonomy of the Assembly because currently what has happened is that uh, the National Assembly, uh, both the Senate and the National Assembly, they have what is called the Parliamentary Service Commission that takes care of the welfare. Therefore, that's why we are saying that we ought to be considered. Number three, we are saying that you reinstate the, the, the salaries and management commission ought to reinstate the salaries of MC where it was, 165. Failure to do so, then we will not uh, negotiate any other thing. We are also saying that uh, the issue of reimbursement ought to be taken care of and the issue of pension. Those five ought to be taken care of. Tunasema hivi kwa sababu ni vizuri kuogea vile iko. Ukiagalia hii pesi ni pambayo, nilisema nitakuwa ni naibeba, hii pesi ni piyaku nitakuwa ni naibeba, vile ni naibeba IT. 
ili hata ukichukua na pesa na polisi sasa tuonyeshe ID tunaonyesha ID pesi huwezi lipa hata kukipeleka jela ukiangalia hii pesi ukikatwa hizi pesa zote tunabakishiwa na 34000 that 34000 and this is what has brought us to whatever we have done if you move from uh, if you come from my mayo for example weke gari yako mafuta unalipa shiriki kiri tatu na 500 that is kuja na urudi tunatakana ku assemble kwa siku tatu it is now 35 that that 3500 multiply by 3 you also now for a month multiply by 4 sasa ukiangalia hizo pesa alafu uangalie na wakati huo ukikula ukikula 500 my times 3 times 4 utaona ya kwamba tutakuwa tunaishi hapa kutafuta tu pesa za chakula na mavuta ya gari therefore what we are saying is that they need to consider that you cannot survive on that 4000 it is not uh, politically palatable na diposa tunasema kuna watu ambao wa hiyo uh, salary remuneration commission by the way nani anawekea salary remuneration commission pesa zao kwa sababu wanaugiza sisi watu wengine wasikule kuku alafu wafanye MCAs wakule kama kuku hiyo ndio tunasema haiwezekani therefore what we are saying is that uh, we are in solidarity na salary remuneration commission ije yonge na MCAs ili waweze kujua nimefurahi sana kwa sababu even nao kam that represent the, the, the speakers wameanza kuona tunaongea kitu. Kwa hivyo tumesema ya kwamba buge ikisimama, unjua ya kwamba hakuna budget itapita, hakuna plan itapita ya 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 ya, ya, ya annual development plan. Hata hiyo hakuna kitu kitapita. Therefore, we are saying wa, hata governors uongea kama vile governor wa Madera na tunashukuru kwa sababu ya hiyo. Kwa sababu aliongea kwa sababu yeye alikuwa alikuwa e, governor huyo alikuwa e, siku moja alikuwa katika e, kiti ya MCS wanajua. E, senator we, e, governor wetu ambaye alikuwa senator na alikuwa speaker pia tunamuomba na tunajua kwa sababu tumeongea naye. Tumemwajesha ipesi kama mama akaona ya kwamba tumekoda paka sasa macho unatoa jicho mtu anafikiria ni, ni kama fanya amenaso na mtego jicho liko ite kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba watu angalie kwa hiyo alafu mwisho tumesema ya kwamba tunashukuru Charagei leo Charagei ana statement anauliza na tunamwambia ya kwamba waendelee kutetea kwa sababu why should people kill devolution miaka mi tume from 1965 pesa zimekuwa zikigawa vipaya alipoza ya kwamba eh, what zikali na, na, na matatizo kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba what development iletwe ili MCS wa wajeke mabarabara MCS wa jeke biwada why is it that eh, for all those 10 years tulokana ngope zikali zinakupa na wanapewa pesa ni kwa sababu mgao wa pesa umekuwa ufanyi itakikanaga kwa hivyo mimi kama secretary general nimesema ya kwamba na tumeongea bila resolution zilikuwa watu wafuate resolution relidi ya siri bila kutoa bila kuongeza wafuate kama vile watu wanafuata Quran ama vile watu wanafuata Biblia full stop